Hey, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to be walking you through how to mod Blade and Sorcery Nomad for the Oculus Quest 2. Now, a few things you're going to need before we get started here. You obviously need the Oculus Quest 2 headset. You're going to need Blade and Sorcery Nomad installed and updated. You're going to need any sort of PC whatsoever as long as it has a 3.0 USB slot. And then you do need a link cable in order to connect the Oculus Quest to your computer. Now, before you guys start freaking out saying, why do I have to buy an $80 cable to get this done? You don't. This is the Oculus Quest 2 branded one, so you definitely can get that if you don't really care about money. But there is a ton of different options for $20 to $30 that you can get. I got this Vuku one for $30. Uh, I'll drop this one that I purchased personally down below in the description if you want to buy that. And I will drop the Oculus Link one as well. Uh, just in case you like to have name brand and things now let's get into the reason that you guys are all here so we're gonna go through this as quickly as possible just if you need to stop and rewind or pause that's totally fine uh, first thing you're gonna do is turn on your oculus quest 2 plug it into the computer with the link cable and then you will have to toss the headset on real quick and just allow it to connect to the computer up next you're gonna open up your file explorer on the left side here if you did all of the prior things correctly the oculus quest 2 tab will be right here so click right on that click on internal shared storage click on this android folder click on data and then you're going to find on this list here mine's in the bottom middle uh it's just going to say com.warpfrog.blade and sorcery double click that and then we're going to leave this cache folder alone we're going to go straight to files double click that and then you're gonna see this mods folder. If you do not see this mods folder, it means your game is probably not updated. So go double check that and come back. But open that up and basically this folder is where we are gonna drop the mods. Perfect, so now that we are in the mods folder, we're just gonna leave this alone for a couple minutes. Do not close out of it. Next up, we're gonna go into the web browser and just type in nexusmods.com. We'll pop it up on the screen so it's a little bigger. And that's going to take you to the website where we're actually going to download these mods. Once you're on the Nexus Mods homepage, you're going to go up to here to register and you can register just for a free account. There is going to be an option that pops up to pay for a, a premium membership. You do not have to do that. Just exit out of that and just stick with the free one. Once you're all signed up for the Nexus Mods account, just go up to the search bar here. Make sure you switch this mods tab down to games because we're going to look at Blade and Sorcery now and just type in blade and sorcery make sure not to type in the word and you have to use the and symbol the ampersand here uh, and then just hit search it's going to pop up two options make sure you're clicking blade and sorcery nomad that's the one for the quest 2 not the pc and once you click on that it takes you to all of the mods that have been created for blade and sorcery nomad so far so just for this example we're going to do something simple here i'm just going to click on one of the hot mods uh, let's do retractable vader's lightsaber 1.0 so click right on that and then on the right here, you're going to see a manual download option. Click manual. And then this screen, you can hit fast download if you paid for a premium membership. Now, most people don't pay for that. So any of these mods that you download, you can do for free just with the slow download. Honestly, most of them don't take very long. Uh, here you can donate to the creator of the mod if you choose to. Otherwise, you just got to wait a few seconds and it will start downloading on the bottom left here. So I'm going to click on that folder. And then you're going to see the Darth Vader folder right here. We're going to need to put this entire folder into the mods tab now that we opened up earlier. Uh, but first, you do have to extract these files in order to basically make them work on the quest. So if you don't have some sort of extracting software, I'll link it down below. But the most popular is WinRAR. Otherwise, I also use 7-Zip. So most of you will probably be familiar with what that is, but you need to basically extract it. So up here, I'm going to hit extract all Hit extract. And then it's going to pop up the correct folder that I need. And then it's pretty easy from there. You just got to open up that mods folder tab that we had earlier. And then you're just going to drag and drop that folder into the mods folder over on the Quest 2. And then it should just copy it right over there for you. And that's pretty much it. You just have to disconnect your Quest from the computer, boot it up, and you should be able to use mods in Blade and Sorcery now. Anyways, I hope that was fast and easy for you guys. I would put some gameplay up of Blade and Sorcery with the mods, but last time I made a Blade and Sorcery video on the channel, it got demonetized for violence, so we're not gonna do it this time. Anyways, enjoy the mods, guys, and I want you guys to come back here if this ended up working for you, and drop what your favorite mod so far has been on Blade and Sorcery Nomad. Also, make sure to hit like on the video, it greatly helps the channel. As usual, check out our social medias and Discord down below. Once again, my name is Brendan. If you want to see future content on tech, games, movies, to literally anything nerdy in between, make sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics.
Peace.